Hello everyone, my name is Lana and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to learn how to calculate GC content of DNA parsed from the FASTA file. We are going to use the knowledge from the last video where we learned how to read and parse sequences from the FASTA file. If you still haven't watched it, make sure to check it out. Now let's get started. Let's start by defining how to calculate GC content of DNA. So GC content is given by the percentage of symbols that are either G or C. So we can calculate it by counting all occurrences of G summed with all occurrences of C divided by the total length of DNA multiplied by 100 to get a percentage. And this formula is exactly what we are going to use in our example to calculate the GC content of a given DNA stream. This is the example of FASTA file we are going to use to calculate GC contents. We see that we have multiple DNA sequences and each of them have a unique sequence identifier. Our task is to find the identifier whose sequence has the highest percentage of GC content. In order to calculate the GC contents, first we need to read and parse the FASTA file. For that, we are going to use the knowledge which I shared in my last video. So if you haven't checked it out and you don't know how to do that, make sure to watch the video on this link. I will also link it in the description of this video. We are going to use CKIO module from BioPython to read and parse sequences from FASTA file. To repeat, we need to find sequence with highest GC content and print its sequence identifier alongside calculated GC content. At the beginning, we set the max sequence ID to none, as it's currently not known which sequence identifier has the highest GC content. Similarly, we set the max GC content to zero, because we currently don't know what is the highest GC content. We will read sequence by sequence from our FASTA file, and for each sequence we are going to calculate GC content using the formula mentioned before. For that one, we are going to use the count method from strings, which will count the occurrences of letter C in our DNA string and count the occurrences of letter G from our DNA string. We are going to sum them and divide them by the total length of DNA string and multiply by 100 to get the percentage. Then we are going to check if the current calculated GC content is higher than the previous one. If that is true, we are going to set the current GC content as the max and its sequence identifier which ha has the highest GC content. When we calculate that for each of the sequence from the DNA string, we are going to figure out what is, is the highest GC content. So in our case, in our file, Rosalind0132 is the sequence identifier whose GC content is the highest. The GC content is 53%. That was it for today's video. Let me know in the comments below this video which topics would you like to see me cover. And if you still haven't, please make sure to like and subscribe to support my channel. Until the next time, bye!